welcome to another video i came for a walk lately i've been taking a lot of long walks i feel like it's very helpful to it's very helpful just to relax and get your mind off of things when you come for long walks i've been thinking a lot about the concept of of death of life and resurrection we just got finished with easter sunday as i get older i start to realize that life goes in seasons there's a season for everything season for for knowledge for absorbing knowledge there's a season to act upon that knowledge there's a season for change there's a season for love there's a season for meeting people there's a season for everything and what it reminds me of is that life will always be a continual cycle of these seasons i remember when i was in my early 20s I, I didn't really know what i wanted to do with my life i i followed the path of of what others around me advised me to do because i didn't know any better i've mentioned this a couple of times but my parents immigrated to the united states i went to school here in in, in the u.s i saw the world in a very limited scope as a first generation student in the united states limiting scope because i never had this wider scope around me to actually open my eyes and say okay there's greater things in this life and there's greater ways to live this life it wasn't until like I graduated school and I actually started doing some like self development, I started really looking inside myself to see what I really wanted, that I started to realize like shit, there's more to the world than what I was told there was. And now that I'm in my later 20s, a couple of years away from 30, which is crazy to me, it's crazy to me how fast time flies, how fast time just goes on. It passes by really quickly that now I am, I feel like I'm becoming more aware of this and I'm starting to see the world clearly for what it is, which is a very, it's a very liberating feeling, but at the same time, it reminds me that I still have a lot of work to do. And I just think to myself, I wish, sometimes I wish I would have saw this faster, sooner, but you know, there's a lot of things that you just can't control, you can't change. And this is one of those things. When you get to this point, you look back and you start to realize all the mistakes that were made, all the time that was wasted. And it's one kind of pisses you off a bit because you think, damn, I could have invested that time wiser. I could have done better decisions. But at the time, you just don't know those things. So, now that I'm in my late 20s, there's more clarity and more determination to reach those goals. And I think as I go into my 30s, I have a stronger focus of doing that. So I have a couple of years to get to 30, but I, I now have like a clear target of where I want to aim for, which it feels amazing. When I started making YouTube videos, which was like two years ago, it was right after the pandemic started. 2020 i didn't really know what i was doing like a lot of my videos were cringy i was just recording on several topics anything that would come to mind and i i did it with a purpose because i always knew that i wanted to make videos i always knew that i wanted to do something greater than just the things that i was already doing and i was like, all right fuck it let's do it whatever happens happens and now, as I've been doing it for a while, now I know where to tailor my content and where to, to focus on. Before, I didn't really know that. I just kind of started recording. And I think it's very helpful to just do, do it, do the damn thing, because as you do it, you start to, start to see like holes of, you start to see where you can improve and what you really like to do, you know? It's not like you have to try it. It's trial and error. Life is trial and error. You have to try different things to actually find the thing that you like to do. 
You're not just gonna automatically know. What works for someone doesn't work for someone else. Everyone has like their own pathway. And I wouldn't have known that if I didn't just have took the initiative to start. So it's very powerful to just start. I think that's very, very critical. Right now I'm in spring. I feel a, a strong warrior energy. We're in April and this is, I don't, I don't know if, you, if you're if you too into like astrology or if you're not, I'm not too into it, but there's, there's like a certain level of truth to it. And I'm a Libra. I was born in September, in late September. And right now we're in Aries season and Aries is the God of war. Libra is wisdom, it's a representation of scales, the god of wisdom, I think it was Athena or, or one of those, one of those goddesses. The polarity for Libra is Aries. So they say that you have a bit of your opposite sign inside of your, your main sign. And I think that's true because I've always been like a, a very calm, reserved guy. Like I've always kind of just been focused, try to be logical focus on on my path focus on on doing the best things for for myself and always treating people well always treating my family well being polite you know having great relationships i always try to strive to have good relationships with people and i think that's represented a lot through libra but like I mentioned, they say that you have that polarity inside of you as well. And right now that we're in spring and this is airy season, I do feel like I have that warrior energy deep inside of me as well. And I've always felt that I had it. And I think that's a big reason why I've always been into like lifting weights and, and learning MMA, boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's a big reason why I got into these sports because I've always had like that inner drive to to want to pursue these things. I've always liked to fight. And right now that we're in the every season, I feel it even more. There's a lot of things that are, are very difficult in this life. And those difficulties are the best parts of life. The things that you acquire through hard work, determination, perseverance, discipline, those are the things that are most important in this life. And when you overcome those obstacles, it's just the greatest feeling ever. You feel great. You feel amazing when you overcome obstacles like that. But my point with that is that a big reason why I caught this channel Conquer Mindset was because of that mentality. To whatever stands in your way, you have it within you to overcome that, that obstacle, that adversity you'll find a way because you have a strong mindset to overcome it and that's the type of content that i try to promote that's the type of content that i try to talk about because for me life is war vivere est militare which is latin for life is war i learned that from the stoics from my boy marcus aurelius down here it's a big reason why I got them tatted on me. Life is war. The, the best things in life, you have to fight for them. It doesn't just get handed to you. And if it does hand it, get handed over to you, you're not gonna, you're not going to be grateful for it. You're not going to to be thankful, you're just gonna see it like whatever. It's not, it's whatever. The best things are the things that you acquire through hard work that you yourself had to acquire. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video, but life is seasons. If you're ever in feeling bad or you're in a bad spot, don't worry. That too shall pass and you will get to a better, position if you're in a good position remember that too shall pass and be ready for whatever comes your way be grateful in adversity 
and be generous in prosperity. Stay strong and keep on conquering. I know you got this.